Well, I'm getting ready for the first inspection, um, getting stuff cleaned up. I got a few things uh, all dialed in. I've got the uh, conduit run and pulled up and tied up and all set. We'll go over there and check that out. We've got the forms all in place just right. There's one more thing that has to happen with these. I need to put the bolts, the anchor bolts, like the hold down hardware in place. Um, but that I'm looking to do first thing in the morning. It's Sunday. I couldn't get any of the hardware this weekend. The place is Monday through Friday only, but they open at six. So I'll be there early, early. And then, um, got the inspector coming today. He's going to inspect, um, underground plumbing. And so let's check that out. Um, I, that was, that's been in for a week, you know, and then I, um, put up the stand pipe 10 feet. It's a little over 10, um, and filled that up with water. So that has 10 feet of head pressure, got all these caps on, you know, and it's, there's been water in it for a week, no leaks at all. I still leave the, uh, you know, where, wherever there's a glued fitting nice and exposed. So he's going to do the underground plumbing inspection. Um, he's going to do the conduit inspection there's the end of the the um, sewer so he's going to do this conduit inspection I'm straighten those up a little bit um, the underground conduit inspection all the way as soon as he does that I'm excited because I want to fill this trench in it's been forever um, also he's going to do a grounding rod inspection let me jump this gap here <clears throat> so I did two because this building's going to have solar this one here is a Ufer, so it's a 20 foot piece of half inch rebar. And that comes all the way down here, it's hung by itself. And then I added an eight foot ground rod as well. So I just I just jackhammered this all the way down today. So you can see finished floor, you know, it'll stick up, you know, six inches or so above the finished floor and uh, there will be redundant grounding, so the whole panel will get grounded to the Ufer and also to the ground rod. That's um, it's eight feet from the panel. And then the last big thing I called for inspection on was the footings and forms. And I found that's actually taken a lot more time to get ready. I mean, the footings and the forms stuff like look pretty good, but... Um, I found out, let me jump again, <laughs> I found out that they're, uh, they're going to be really picky on um, a few things. So one over here where I was at the pier footings, I need to make sure 100% that there's going to be three inches from every rebar to the dirt. And so I came through and did a little trimming and... Um, additionally, they want these footings to be totally clean. And there were some leaves and little dirt and rocks that had fallen in, you know, especially in the big ones where I had to do the uh, trenches for the plumbing. So I've been going through, doing some hand, trim hand trimming, using jackhammer too, and getting them just super, super clean. And I'm real close, and I was going to just knock it out, but I, it's getting dark, so I wanted to get this video, and then I'm going to finish up, you know, a little bit in the dark. So, real clean, nice three-inch perimeter around. And so, you can see a couple leaves fell back in that one, so I'm going to fix that one up. Same, a couple leaves back in this one. You know, so I'm going to keep cleaning them, and when the inspector shows up, I'll, I'll have just cleaned them. I also wet them down to get them really, um, you know, nice and clear. And so same all the way through. Now, uh, I'm going to show you what the footings, you know, after walking around, dirt gets kicked down in there. And every time I jump over, I knock a little dirt in or whatever. Um, this is a no-go. All this whole footing here is a no. That can't be there. And you can see it's even built up where it's too close. It needs to be three inches from that rebar. So... I've got to clean all this out um, the way I'm doing it. I did a couple things. I brought my leaf blower through and I blew them out. And then what I'm doing, I'm coming along the whole perimeter like this. And I'm just raking everything away. Because over here, I mean, you can see where there's these little rough edges. If I step on that edge, stuff falls in. So I'm just raking the rough stuff in, raking the rough stuff out. So I get nothing but really smooth dirt outside of it. And then I came through and I've cleaned 
all this up. I actually threw this steak because I was gonna take care of it later. So you can see the difference here. Looking down this footing is just on the on point, you know, just clean. And then this one, you know, it's it needs a little love. And so I'm going through with the square shovel, just getting it really nice, wetting it down, cleaning any debris out, cleaning up any overlay kind of like stuff where I did the shading and it fell in. Um, and just getting it wet makes it look just super, super clean. So I want to have this guy show up and just, you know, just have it be no question, you know. And so getting it all on, on the money here, same. Need to do a little trimming to make sure I had three inches of clearance on these, um, you know, corners here and everything. You see that one chunk fell in there, so that's a no-go. So I'm going to grab that out just by hand in the pile. But I found that a lot of that stuff has kind of crept in on the edges. And next thing you know, like this piece right here probably fall in. So I'm just going to grab it. So, you know, I don't exactly know what code is, but the inspector's been known to want to pick that out, so I'm not going to give them nothing to pick out. Everything's going to be all good. So, you can see again, just, got a, I got a tiny little bit left. I got from about there to about there left. And so, take me about an hour, but in the meantime, you know, just... Let's check that out. Flip it this way. So, that's how we're looking. And then uh, I did find out there's a delay in concrete. I guess they're, I don't know if they're running out or they don't have the manpower to get it done because of COVID or what. But um, I can't get concrete for two weeks. So, my plan is after this inspection is done to pop that front form down again. And, uh come in and use a machine to backfill all this rough rough underground trenches, get it wet, compact it, um, and then um, bring in my two inches of sand, my vapor barrier, my two inches of sand, basically grade this whole thing, call back for a plumbing or a for a uh, slab grade inspection. And then once that's done in two weeks, I'm just gonna do the monolithic pour. That's my plan at least right now. The two part pour seemed like it would have been good, but I would be doing the footings, you know, all the footings I would do next week, but allegedly I can't get concrete. So I'm not going to sit on my butt for a week. I'm going to get it all ready to pour at once. And so, um, either way I'll be good, but there's the update. Next video should be pretty flat looking in here. Pretty ready for concrete.